Why, hello. Mark's date with Harry Kane lookalike Paul didn't get off to the best of starts. How do you feel about Nando's? I haven't been there. What? But true to form, the MF continued to be a bit of a posh please and promised him a second date anyway. Till next time. So, we asked Paul, has another date been discussed? Paul said, yeah, it was mutual. I mean, I don't recall the finer details, but I may have led him to believe that I might have seen him again. So that's the real you, a liar? Um, maybe. I wouldn't say a liar, and I love the way that you say that so directly, but I would say someone who doesn't want to disappoint. What I need to understand is, why is it that you have such a fear of disappointing others, and where do you believe that comes from? I think it comes from, look, most things come from childhood, and um, I was exactly as I am now, aged about four or five. I probably didn't fit into most kind of juvenile settings, so I know what it feels like to not feel like you're part of something, to be shunned, to be pushed to one side, to not be part of a clique. And it's not a nice feeling. I'd much rather not see them again than to make them feel like, hey, you're not, you're not right, you're not good enough for me. Because it's not nice. This is the most emotional and the most human I have seen Mark Francis at his time at the agency. Here's my biggest ask is, if it so happens that you're on this date with Max and you don't feel like you want to move things forward with him. Yes. Then? What? Then what do you do? I don't know what. You, you tell me. You, you say. Good Lord, Mommy's just called on whether the bee days has sprung a leak. I'm not going to continue this. Oh, right? When I say. I'm not going to continue or, or, well, it, it, You could say it in your turn. I'm New York, right? But if someone did that to <laughs> be mortified, I'd much rather believe I'd see them again and then never see them again. No, you know what would happen is, is that they would hold on. Think about Paul. He's holding on. To I'm happy you're holding on. No, no. Being told, H holding, hold, you're not for me. Holding on to hope oh, no. that never I materializes. Hold on to hope. You don't want that. I'm going to take all of Paul's advice. I'm going to be super honest. The moment he does anything that I in any way dislike, whilst being open minded and polite, I will make my way out. Hello, Mark. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. I'm okay. I just had um, a sip of really awful wine. Oh, no. <laughs> Forgive my expression. What's which... so bad for it? It tastes like fruit juice. Oh, okay. Which is normally not the best start. Okay. Do you want I... to try? No. Sure. It's not very nice to offer something that you've just said is really foul, is it? To be fair, I don't know wine, so... Okay. This is not my aesthetic. Mullet, short sleeves, knitted number with a zip. So is he going to follow Paul's advice and get up and do one? Doubt it. What do you like? to drink? Um, is that dry? Would you say that's dry? I'd say it's m nasty. <laughs> uh, rum. Rum? Rum is my I only know too. one person who drinks rum. He loves Havana. Have you been? No. No wine, no geography, mullet. <laughs> Why am I here? I work in IT Monday to Friday, and then on the weekends I go-go dance and club host. Well. Uh, a, a bunch of different places. I think the biggest crowd I've danced to is 2,000 people. Okay. He's friendly, charming, kind, polite, everything you could want. But I'm not sure that I could watch him dance on stage at 2 in the morning in front of 2,000 people. Sorry. Would you like the menu? I mean... I think food is so overrated. Why? No, it's no? fine. You look You're not going to have a single thing. I've got olives. There's me thinking about getting a steak, and you're going to have nothing. <laughs> it's also my best friend's birthday this evening. Oh, OK, there it is. I think it might be time to follow Paul's advice. What, be honest and tell him you're not into him? Are you going to kill me if I go to this birthday? No, of course not. You are. Why? Why would I kill you? No, I don't know, because it, it seems really, really rude. Yes, it does. Well, you can make it up to me another time. <laughs> oh, Max, as if you're ever going to see him again. Well, I know where to find you on Fridays now. Yeah, exactly. OK. Easy peasy. 
uh, making future plans that are never going to happen was definitely not Paul's advice. Hello? Paul, good evening. Aren't you on a date right now? I am. I, I was. I was. So, I gather you do not have an interest for another date. I fear you may have gathered correctly. OK, as long as you told him that. Oh, so I you followed you... your advice unlike ever before. I did exactly what you said. So just so I'm clear, if I were to call Max right now... Yes. ..would he be expecting another date with you? I don't think so. He actually believes he's done the right thing. Posh boys always do. Thank you very much, Paul. You have a good evening. All right. OK. You Thank too. you. you right, See you care. soon. Bye-bye. From today's date with Mug, I would love the outcome to be that we're going to see each other again, potentially, and get to know each other and, yeah, potentially just falling in love with each other. Why not? Sounds like he's defo up for a slice of Franco Manka. I think I really want to kiss Mark, yeah. And I'm really excited to see if Mark is going to kiss me. Ciao, Vanessa. <gasps> Ciao. <laughs> Come on, that it? Oh, I bet it too. Oh, did I scare you? Uh, no, no. I you picked me for a reason. You just, me, you just caught me um, looking for the brand of chopstick. <laughs> of course. Which is really uncouth. So tell me, what do you like about me right now? Well, I need to see the brand first. <laughs> Who made you? Alessio is decidedly forward, which I'm not exactly used to, but I suppose at least he's confident. I mean, quite frankly, I don't even know if I actually want to eat. That's fine, you don't have Because all to. I'm thinking about is just I want to kiss you. Oh, my God, OK. That's, that's a lot of information. Wow. Yeah. Uh, rewind. Mm -hmm. Ti ho No, no. Ci mancherebbe. Um... Wow. That, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> is Mark Francis stunned into silence. Would you still kiss me if I... Uh... <laughs> if my breath is... You're just trying. <laughs> At this rate, I think he might. Sta facendo di tutto per Vale, <laughs> maledetto. È buonissimo. So, what would you like in a long-term relationship? I want to feel like I'm learning, I want to feel like I'm growing, I want to feel like I'm seeing the world through new eyes, but I will always have my thing. Your own time. Yeah, and I think that's important. You need to be able to have your own time. A hundred percent. And not just be like 24-7. Uh, totally. Unless you actually gets me. It's great. I might even compliment the agents today. It's almost beyond belief. Mark, what's next for us? Well, probably to get the bill and then to, um, well, consider the future. Consider the future? Yeah. Nice. So, does that mean that you want to see me again? Yeah, we can do something. Nice. But what? Hold on, did Franco just suggest a third day? This is unheard of. Are you going to stay in London now? Are you inviting me over? No. To be fair, Franco, it definitely sounded like it. Well, I think we've done very well to um, take this much time for lunch. Oh, what's going on here? Sneaky hand slide? <gasps> Go on, Mark. And the only way that I would forgive you for not giving me a kiss tonight, it's clearly because what we've been eating, so... Yes. Oh, my God. We're at lunch in the middle of a restaurant. This is all too much. I think it's time for me to leave now so i think we should probably go where do i see you I'll somewhere call you oh is you that, call me that... i'll be in touch see you later see, see you, later. you later i had a lovely lunch with alessio he gets it he's smart he's charming he's funny i saw a hand approach yeah i don't touch at lunch you chose to go on a date with alessio why i wanted to practice my italian and it was great the person's a perfectly affable Italian. Did you like him? I find the level of intellect attractive. OK, good start. I think this is the first time the agents have found me a victim that I actually quite like. I don't know how they've done it. It must be a mistake. Let's read him the feedback, shall we? Yes. Alessio, how would you rate your date out of 10 and why? 10 out of 10. Oh! I think we fancy each other. I mean, I fancy him for sure. OK, good. He corrected himself. That's great. What did you not like about Mark Francis? Oh, look at the glee. <laughs> 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 
The moment when I put my hand on the table to grab his, and he didn't grab mine back. Yes. A little bit embarrassing. That was not going to happen. Come on, mate. It was hardly suggesting an atomic wedgie. I'm curious. Yeah. When Alessio really wanted to hold your hand, why didn't you want to? Because I don't um, touch. Is there any circumstance in which you would have reciprocated his hand? Maybe next year. A year? I'm not sure the restaurant would have been too pleased. They had another sitting at seven.